Okay, the recording is uh, so the presentation is being recorded, and I wish you all a very warm welcome to the fifth virtual roundtable conference and to this session about teaching and learning tools uh, named Sound Activities for the ELC Classroom, uh, which is going to be presented by Mike Harrison. Uh, let me introduce you to Mark. Mike. Uh, Mike is an uh, ESL teacher based in London where he has been teaching for the last four years. He also previously taught in Pamplona in northern Spain. He is interested in using images and sound in the classroom, particularly with lower level language learners. Apart from teaching, his interests include amateur photography in Spanish. He is also currently taking the Delta course um, at UCL in London. He blogs at his blog, Mike. Uh, jharrison.com uh, and I'm going to write this so you can um, see his blog and follow him on Twitter. Uh, so Mike, we are looking forward to interesting presentation. The floor is yours. Right, th thanks very much for the um, introduction, Marina. Um, and um, hello to everyone. Um, thank you very much for being here on um, uh, well, Sunday afternoon here in London, but um, whatever time it is, wherever you are in the world. Um, thank you very much for, for being here. Yeah. Um, this is um, a presentation that is um, on a topic that I've been talking about um, for about uh, just over a year. Um, I started um, sharing ideas um, at different conferences and um, uh, with people online um, over the past year um, after experimenting a little bit with um, Using, using sound effects in the classroom. Um, and this is a sort of distillation of, of what I've been thinking about in the past year. Um, so that's what I'm going to do with you today. And um, this is a brief outline. Um, I don't know if you can see the whole uh, screen there, this whole side. Um, talking about um, why, why I've used sound effects. Um, what I think the benefits are, um, going through some activities that you can do um, almost, at, I hope, immediately in your classes. Um, they may not be 100% um, appropriate for uh, every learner, but I believe that they can be tailored. So if you're teaching younger learners, you can use particular aspects of them. If you're teaching business English students, you can take some aspect of it, tweak it a little bit and make it appropriate for your content. 